you guys today I will show you one of my purchase application which I use during my design stage and also for checking the result from the structural analysis software so open natin so ito yung interface ng struct x pro version 1.8.4 and check natin yung about so as you can see yung latest update is 1.8.4 na then next start yan as of year 2021 so ito yung ano, mga version, then yung update yung version na yan then saan natin makikita yung name so hindi ko mahanap yung developer and by the way, uh, yung developer nito is engineer Malaysia okay, so direct, kung gusto niyo mag-avail, direct ano lang ninyo, contact siya then or the StratX Pro uh, Facebook page then without further ado, let's open the column rectangular so as of now, yung updated is uh, para check natin yung nasa the update ito, yung circular column uh, UI na rin siya ang ang version ko kasi ngayon yung na-avail ko lang is for rectangular so ibig sabihin uh, hindi ko magamit yung circular so kapag i-open ko yung rectangular o okay, siya yung license so ma-open natin siya Pero kapag i-open ko yung circular, so wala akong license. Okay. So, hindi natin mat-test yung uh, updated version. So, for now, yung rectangular lang. Okay, open natin. Then, kapag open yung license, then, ito yung makikita ninyo. So, maximize lang natin. So, ito yung pwede natin yung manual input. Then, we have here the icon tools. Tapos, ito yung input. So, kapag gumagamit ka ng stag, uh, it taps our frame say, you can extract the forces from this uh, application, then you can import here para diretso na lang design. Okay, so ngayon, gagawin natin mag-import tayo ng uh, manual. So yung location natin, set, uh, let's say foundation to second floor or ground floor 2. Asabi na lang natin uh, 2F to 3F. Okay, then column 1. Yung para sa prime scene natin is 20.7. Then para sa FY natin, para sa rebar and bars, is 414 then 276 para naman sa FY sa stirrups then uh, 200,000 para sa ES natin then sa ECU is 0 0.003 then in the column details naman data let's say 3 meters then width natin ng column is 0.3 by 0.3 then yung cover is 40 then in the refreshment data so let's use 16 then we have an option kung ibabundle o hindi. So, kapag ibundle yan, ito. May kita ninyo. So, for now, hindi natin ibabundle. Then, ito. Nag, we need to input the number of rebars uh, along the X and Y direction. So, kasi tatlo, kapag iapat natin yan, so, ibig sabihin, apat yung sa Y, uh, sa X, then sa Y naman is, sabi natin, 2. So, dalawa lang. Okay? So, for this example, we input in the three reverse of each uh, for each direction okay then for the setup we will use 10 mm then for the spacing we use let's say 150 then 75 for the confinement okay then and applied forces we must input the data let's say for the pu sabi natin 500 uh, start na natin then yung end natin, let's say 700 then para sa MX let's say 150 and let's say 100 uh, okay 150 and 60 para sa share naman ito, random man lang to, input lang to random input let's say 700 and 350 about 150 and 100 so as you can see, uh, sabi niya it fails uh, yung capacity, okay siya, pero mag-fill siya doon sa bi-axial. Then, as you can see, lumabas siya dito sa diagram natin. Okay, so, sobrang laki. So, 700, medyo malaki ka. Okay, so, ang mag gagawin natin kapag mag, ano dyan, we need to increase the size. Let's say, na 0.5. Sorry. 0.5. Then, 0.5. Yun. As you can see, uh, nag-okay na tayo pero yung 
capacity natin, capacity ratio, medyo mababa na. <coughs> so, pwede rin natin yan, ano? 0.4. Then, 0.4. So, medyo, ito, fail na siya. Pwede natin yan, 0.5 by 0.4. I mean, 0.4 to 0.5 by 0.5. Then, yun. Pasado na siya, guys. Pero, we need to check. So, so, so there's share design. Okay siya yung spacing niya. Pero sa code requirements, as per the NSCP, ah, pero tayo rito, oh. Okay. So, mamaya, iyan naman natin. <clears throat> Dito as per section 418.4, 7.4.1, non-compliant siya. It should be 1 to 6 min bar ratio. So, kailangan maramihin pa kasi naka 45 pa. Let's say, okay, apat-apat. Ayan. Compliant na yung section na to, main bars. Then, ito naman yung ano natin. It should be the requirement is 4. It should be 4 legs. Yung asob na natin, yung ano lang natin present is 2 legs na. Then, the spacing is beyond LO. So, we need to check. So, yung requirement is 96. Dapat so, pero i um, i com i uh, comply muna natin yung ano, ito. Yung 418.7.5.4. So, we need to add the stirrups. Okay? So, okay na to. Ito yung ano natin. Uh, section properties then we need to import the stirrups ito as you can see, click lang natin yun add stirrups then, pwede natin yan ito i-auto compliant on code provision so kapag i-check natin ito click lang natin yan, then, automatically ma-place na siya, then punta na tayo rito ah, dapat update stirrups natin, okay then, balik tayo rito. As you can see, ito na lang yung nag-fail natin. So, let's say 100. Uh, it should be 96. 75 para spacing sa LO. Although, we need to decrease that, pero pwede natin na na-try. Try natin to as 12. Okay, click compliance siya. So, hindi siya nag-change para sa provision should be 96 or let's say 95 as you can see kailangan daw 95 yung spacing natin sa ties para ma makomplied niya yung requirements ng code okay so ito na yung ano natin design para ma yun pero nga lang para sa share medyo uh, malaki na I mean malaki yung factor of safety natin based sa share same din dun na na sa column. Medyo malaki ang factor of safety natin. Pero ito talaga magagabarn yung sa code. Then kapag i-check natin yung design calculation, check natin yan, click na natin. Okay, zoom natin. So ito na yung ano na magiging design calculation natin. So pwede na yung gamitin sa building permit application. Ayan. Then we have the, the 2D interaction data. And then the calculation, the properties of the column. Then, of course, the chicken will, chicken will be slender in the ratio. Then, put it in my, uh, we have an option here, the SMRF calculation. As you can see, my corresponding section as per the NSCP. So, this is very good tools for us checking and slums okay so for but for now uh, yung ano lang muna natin yung column yung calculate natin kasi yan so that is uh, naka excel base lang to yung kay generation but now uh, naka update na siya so very good tools okay yun lang guys thank you and god bless